First off, my trip is coming up. October the 1st, leaving for Hawaii. October the 8th, I leave for the Philippines. So I'll be start back filming there in Hawaii, and then I'll be filming back in the Philippines on October the 9th, and there'll be uploads hopefully every day on that. But what I want to talk with y'all today about is a lot of uh, questions I've been getting online, and one of them was why I chose the Philippines. And my... My reason for choosing the Philippines is, first off, my girlfriend's there. Uh, second is the people and the culture and the way of life there is so simple. Unlike other countries where it seems like we're always in this fast pace to go somewhere and never get nowhere, or we always trying to work so hard to have something and never have anything, uh, we lose the most important thing to us, and that's our joy. We lose the most important thing to us, that's our time. But... The Philippines, I, if you've never been, you hear a ton of people saying, why do you want to go to a third world country? I don't really like that term. To be honest with you, third world country to me is something that we're taught here where I live in America, in schools, when they're talking about other places like Thailand, Japan, not Japan, uh, Vietnam, Philippines. They refer to them as third world countries. And that discourages people from going. That's a lie. That's a straight up lie. If you hear anybody say that they're miserable there or it's a third world country because those people are more happy there than any people that I have seen any place I've traveled in the United States, even the Disney World. And for people in that country not to have as much as we have here, they're a lot more better off and happier than we are here and a lot of people living in two and 3,000 square foot houses, four cars in the yard, boats, jet skis, all that stuff. They're, they're just more laid back. They get up in the morning, they do their thing, they work, they get food, and they're content. Whereas us people here in America, we're taught to go to school 12 years, Go to college for four years, get you a degree, and then work for 40 to 50 years at a job that you hate. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> Never taught about how to start a business, how to create a business, how to handle your finances. All they want you to do is go to school, get a job, work, retire. And by the time you retire, it's pretty much over. You know what I mean? You retire at 65, 70 years old. How much more you got left? How much energy you got left to do anything to start with? None. Uh, you better do it while you're young. To all the young people out there uh, who watches my channel, uh, start your own business. Create your own career. Create your own path. Don't listen to what they teach you in school about going and getting you a career because when you get out of there, here's, here's the thing. I know I'm off topic right now, but here's the thing. If you have to go to a college for $125,000, $200,000, however much it costs, I don't even know. Never went to college. Matter of fact, I'm a dropout. And, uh, drop out of high school that is um am i proud of it no i don't like quitting anything but do i regret it no i started two businesses i'm still running the last one but get you if you're gonna spend two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a college to get a degree to probably get out of school and not be able to get a job my suggestion is Take that $250,000, invest it in yourself, find something that you love to do, and create a business from it. You will be much happier, I'm telling you. But getting back to the Philippines, if you've never been there, you are really missing out. And I've said it in previous videos, go to the province area. That's where the most friendly people are. That's where you will get welcomed, smiled at, talk to they they just want to talk to you. they just want to meet you they see you they smile at you they'll ask you your name you'll tell them your name you ask them their name they'll take you your name most everybody there speaks english so you will not have a problem with that at all but uh we're we're being lied to in the countries that we live in i don't know how it is in other countries i don't live there i lived in the united states but i remember hearing in school philippines those other countries are third world countries. Manila right now has more advanced technology in their city than most of them do in the United States. 
I don't know how to ever refer to it as a third world country. I'll take a, I'll take the first world country over to I'm at the third world country over the first world country any day, just because of the happiness and the joy that the people have there. They still today, if their neighbor needs help, they help them. Um, if their neighbor's hungry, they feed them. Not saying we don't do it here. Do not get me wrong, but what I'm saying is, the community there is so amazing. I remember when I was a little kid. Mom and Daddy used to take us to Granddaddy's house every Sunday. It was me, my two sisters, Mom and Dad would meet over there with my other aunts and uncles, cousins. Our cousins was our best friends. <laughs> Let me see a show of hands right now of young kids that could raise their hands and say they knew all their cousins. Okay. But we played in the yard because we couldn't go in the house. Grandma thought she was knocking us out the house. But Granddaddy would tell us to go get one of them chickens, wring his neck so we can get dinner ready. And that's what we did. We ate the chickens that was running around the yard out there. And we played. We had fun. And then when Grandma and Granddaddy passed away, that all seemed to diminish. We stopped going there. We stopped seeing our cousins. We stopped seeing family like we did when Grandma and Granddaddy were alive. But the Philippines, it's still like that. You may walk into a mall and you'll feel like you're in New York City because it, the floors are just spotless. The stores are great. It's awesome. But when you walk outside, you do go back in time about seven years because of the infrastructure. But there's not one corner that you won't walk past or people that you won't walk past or one shop that you don't walk past that people don't speak to you, smile and wave at you. Hey, where are you from? What's your name? All the time. It's so amazing. So amazing. You can go to the mall here and you can speak to somebody. Either they'll turn their nose up at you or they'll walk past you like you do not even exist. And I was talking to uh, somebody not long ago about, they were saying that if the Philippines had the money that more people there could do a lot better. And I got to thinking about that when we were talking about it. A lot of people there, if they had money, it would turn them just like it is here. People would stop helping each other. People would stop doing for each other. And the only reason I say that is money changes people. And you know that. Money changes people. It always does. So that's, that's my reason for saying that, you know, I like the Philippines. I love the Philippines. I do. And I'm trying to my best to make my home in the Philippines just because of the uh, the way of life there and the scenery, uh, the air, everything. And I know there's bad everywhere. There is. There is bad everywhere you go. There's people that are mean everywhere you go. I'm not saying the Philippines don't have that. But it's not as rampant as it is here in America and some of the countries that we have now. And we've been in, can't say that word, Got to keep it straight because I don't want to get knocked off of YouTube or nothing. But there's a lot of people coming into our country. Uh, unfounded. Unfounded. <laughs> Trying to reword that for you. But uh, I don't know. It, I, I would suggest that you uh, give it a shot. Go over there and give it a try. Just take a vacation there. There's really nice resorts there. And uh, you can spend less money there. We used to go to Disney World and Universal, and what we spent there, you could probably take a trip to Philippines at least two times for one trip there. And the plane ticket's gonna be your most expensive thing. Food, food, uh, lodging is gonna be really cheap. If you eat like uh, some of the street vendors, which is really good food. And I uh, had a person tell me one time, said, you eat that food, you know that stuff's nasty. I said, no, it is not. Those people rely on people coming back to them every single day to eat there. They are very clean. They want to keep that spotless. They want to keep it really good because if the customers get sick, then they're not going to make no money. So they work hard to keep that place clean. I watched a lady clean her place up the last time I was there. And she wiped and she wiped and she disinfected. She did everything she was supposed to do. I don't know how... We have DHEC here. I don't know how it is there, but I know that lady was taking care of her spot because she knew she had to take care of her customers that were coming back to her every single day to bring money into her pocket so she can make a living for her family. And that's what they think about over there. They think about family more than they think about themselves. 
always. Junilyn will not buy herself anything if she can't buy her family something too. She thinks about them before she thinks about herself. That is amazing to me. That's, that's a huge heart in a person. And I love that. But, I, you know, it, it, it's a really beautiful country. I do want to see Thailand. I do want to see Vietnam. And I'm going to try to make my way there so I can also comment on that. And uh, let you know what I think there. And I'll also video there too. Uh, please hit the likes, share, subscribe, turn on notification, help me grow my channel if you will. I ask this every time um, if you'll do that for me. But g give yourself a chance if you were looking for a vacation place or if you just want to check out something new. Get your passport and I suggest go to the Philippines, uh, Thailand, Vietnam. Go somewhere other than where you're at right now. And just see for yourself the beauty of this world that God has given us and explore it, video it, oh, yeah. so, so you can look at it later. Somebody wanted to get a cigarette lit and I don't smoke. But uh, back to the subject at hand. <laughs> Just uh, go check it out, uh, see for yourself, make your own decisions about it. That's what I recommend before you listen to what other people say, even me. I'm one person. I've been, I went almost for 20 some days. I am heading back can't wait to get back to the people and I have friends over there now that are amazing that have just they welcomed me with open arms we do things together we went to waterfalls we went climbing we went hiking we went to the river we did a lot of stuff we cooked out it was great make new friends around the world but I'm gonna leave now with I'm gonna leave y'all with this just check it out make that decision for yourself like share subscribe if you will i appreciate it and i will see y'all on the next one and stay tuned because uh my videos from the philippines and hawaii are fixing to be coming up i'm actually driving right now but i'm, I'm pretty safe about it uh they're getting ready to start back up this may be the last one i post other than some shorts until then we'll see i don't know i do have some more questions that i would like to answer and I hope I didn't vent too much on this one or get too far off subject on what I was trying to talk about here. But if I did, forgive me. I hope you uh, learned something from it. If you didn't, just comment below and tell me what I need to do to fix it. <laughs> y'all have a great one. Love y'all.